Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be counting down 10 collectible dolls for every budget. So I've already done a video about 10 BJDs for every budget, but I wanted to do a video about collectible dolls for every budget because BJDs aren't the only type of doll that I collect. And there are also dolls that are not BJDs that are a lot more affordable and that a lot of people do collect. So as with the other video, I am not including shipping in the price of the doll. I'm not including shipping or taxes or anything because that's all gonna be relative to where you live and where you're purchasing the doll from. So that is not included. So we're just gonna look at a pure, um, the pure cost of the doll. Um, for each budgetary category. So that being said, let's get started. Number 10, our first budget category is going to be under $50. And so I've got two dolls here for you guys. First is going to be the classic Barbie. Barbie dolls can be found um, for under $10. And what I would recommend if you're a collector is I would recommend getting a Barbie on a made to move bar body. So these Barbies all have the made to move bodies. And what's great about them is you can see how poseable they are. They're super poseable. They're like a double jointed fashion doll. You can have so much fun with them. My favorite, I love the Kirby ones. I really love the Kirby made to move bodies. They're a little bit harder to find, but I really do adore them so much because it's like, you know, it's just a beautiful body and I love all the articulation that comes with that. And you can find them um, fairly inexpensively. The best ones or the easiest ones I have actually seen lately are the BMR 1959 line because they are all on made to move bodies and they have a really beautiful and diverse range of dolls in that line. So, and they also have curvy ones and um, I guess this is the standard size. I don't know what they would they even call this, but they have different ones in this BMR line and you can find them as inexpensively as $14 sometimes on Amazon because they run sales on them from time to time. And of course you can change all the clothes. So they're really easy to get new clothes for. And Barbie's just, Barbie is the first doll I ever had or the first doll that I remember having. I'm sure I had something before Barbie, but Barbie's just a classic. She's an icon. She's why a lot of doll collectors today collect dolls. So I always will go with Barbie in the under $50 category. And you can go from something as inexpensive as a fashionista, which I found for as low as $4 before, to something, um, you know, a little bit higher end like the BMR Barbies. Or there's the new line, the Barbie Extra. Now they're not on the made to move bodies, but they are on a more articulated body and they have really beautiful clothing. So if you're not into Barbie or you want something a little bit different, there's also the Lika Chan dolls. And these are Japanese fashion dolls and I really, really, really adore them. You can find them on Amazon. You can also find them on eBay and they're usually, the, the price is kind of all over the place, but they're usually less than $50. So you can sometimes get them as low as maybe $25 or $30 and that would be a doll like this. And then they go up to, um, they go up from there. But what I have, so this one's on a standard body that came with her, but this is a Lika Chan head that I put on an A-Zone body. So this is a pure Nemo A-Zone body. I have a video about where I swapped this head out. And this is a really fun thing because you can articulate, you can add articulation to the Lika Chan doll, which as I was saying before with the, with the made to move Barbies, I really love this articulation. Now, if you're in the US, um, these A-Zone bodies are $35 from Fabric and Friends dolls. Um, you can also do it on a Bitsu body, although I've never tried that before, but you can get a one sixth of Bitsu body on Amazon for under, it's, I think it's under like $25. And then you would wanna get like a less expensive to stay within your budget, get a less expensive of the Lika Chan dolls and just do a head swap. And then Azone has lots of wonderful clothes for these Pure Nemo dolls. And there's a lot of folks who make clothes for them on Etsy and online. So you can do all kind of cool stuff with this doll but I love this combo I think she has the absolute sweetest her head popped off a little sorry I think she has the absolute sweetest face I love this doll's face so much she's just so sweet and she's so um, like she gives you that anime vibe and they're really a lot of fun so those are my two picks for collectible dolls under $50 
Now we're at number nine, which is under $100 budget category. And you notice I'm kind of doing um, smaller budget increments because there's a lot more dolls in between these increments um, than say with BJDs. But this is under $100. So these are both Spanish dolls and they're both favorites of mine. This is a Nancy Famosa doll. And you can only buy them from Spain. There's no retailer in the US that sells these dolls, but there is a shop called Dolls and Dolls that sells them. They're about 65 euros. Um, and I would get a re-edition doll. These are what they call the re-editions. The new Nancy Famosas are a Playline doll and they have a totally different face, but this is the face you wanna go with um, if you're looking at the collectible dolls. They have some right now that are really beautiful that they've released for this year. And I will of course link those below so you can check them out if you want to add a Nancy Famosa to your collection. But Nancy has always been a favorite of mine. She's one of the first um, dolls that as an adult, maybe not one of the first dolls as an adult, but maybe she, I really got into collecting Nancy, I would say about hmm, maybe 12 or 13 years ago. And I really love this doll. She's probably one of the dolls I've worked the hardest to get because she's the doll that I had to, there was no information about her in English. I had to, you know, really learn Spanish to be able to read about her, uh, really go out of my way to try to find places to buy her because nobody in the US sells it. And that's a little bit easier now in 2020, but back when I started doing this, I wanna say it was 2007, 2008, when I was looking for these dolls, it was a lot harder to get a hold of them. So they're really beautiful dolls. I love them so much. They're, you know, one of the most popular dolls in Spain and um, really nostalgic for a lot of ladies in Spain because a lot of doll collectors in Spain, this was the doll they grew up with. This was their Barbie. So wonderful doll to add to your collection in the under $100 category. Another great doll is the Paola Reina dolls. Um, Paola Reina dolls, you can buy them on Amazon. Now shipping times can be iffy, but there's also several doll retailers that sell them and they can go anywhere. They actually have some that are very low price that come without clothing or anything. This one I got at the Hospital de Bonecas in Lisbon in Portugal. This is one of their outfits that they made for her. But you can get a dressed one um, online from Amazon. And like I said, there's other doll places you can buy them. They're really beautifully made dolls. The face sculpt of these dolls is so gorgeous. And they have a couple of different sculpts. And I actually like the paint job they do on their vinyl. So some vinyl dolls have, like American Girl comes to mind, the paint job on their doll's faces is really basic, I feel like. But I feel like the paint job on the Palorena faces is always really nice. I think it always looks good. There's like some dimension to the lips. The freckles look really natural on these dolls. So I think they're a really great collectible doll in the under $100 category. They also, lots of people make clothing for the Palorena dolls. They can share with little darlings. They can share with Welly Wishers. Welly Wishers might be a tad big on them, but they're all in that similar size range. And so they make a great doll to add to your collection. Number eight, we're now in the $150 and under category. So I've got two dolls for this and we're in the category now where we can actually start adding some art dolls to the list. So this is an Evelina Evergreen baby and this is one of her little baby elves and she has some of her small babies. There's some mandrakes in her Etsy shop that are right at that $150 mark. So for $150, you can get a really great high quality artist art doll to add to your collection. And these are a lot of fun. Um, they're made of silicone and she hand makes every one and they're so adorable and they are, they're just really a lot of fun. I got some hair on this one, but, um, <laughs> They're so much fun and I think they're great and they're a great value at the $150 mark for these little little babes. Now there's also the Ruby Red Fashion Friends. I love the Ruby Red Fashion Friends as a collectible doll. I think they're so well made. Um, some of the faces are sculpted by Diana Effner. I don't believe this one is. I believe this was done by Ruby Red, but you can you get this articulated doll. You've got an articulated doll um, it comes with an elaborate outfit. That's why they're called Fashion Friends is because they have different fashions. The price is right at under $150 for the, the main line dolls. They do some special editions that are limited editions once in a while that I think are above that 170 mark. But you can get a really great, beautiful doll for under $150 with the Ruby Red Fashion Friends. And I also like to say, 
Um, and I've mentioned this before, but if you have a younger collector in your life that wants to start collecting, this is a great first doll for a young collector because it will, it teaches them, um, or maybe not teaches them, but it's, it's not really, it's sort of a play line doll, but not really, you know, and it's got this nice articulation and all these different clothes to collect. So I really feel like these are great beginner dolls for young collectors. They're great dolls for old collectors too. Like it's, you know, any, either way, they're a great doll, but I think they're a really great doll for the price point they're at. Number seven is the under $200 category. And for this category, I've got the Manouche doll, which these are beautiful dolls. I love their faces. They have really soft and sweet faces. They can share clothes with a lot of other dolls. The Pal Lorena that we looked at earlier, Little Darlings. Um, they just are in that size range that's really popular right now. It's like the, I would say the 12 to 14 inch size range and she can share with a lot of those things. These dolls are usually priced between 160 and 180. We've also got the smaller Zorgnazi dolls and these are, you can see she's the same height as the Manouche doll, they're the same height and size and they're really a fun doll. You know, these are made in Germany and uh, they're just a really nice collectible doll uh, in this size. They have fun faces. They have really detailed outfits and shoes. The, the quality is really, really nice on these dolls. Same thing with the Manouche dolls. They're made in the European Union and they are sculpted. The face sculpt is done by Sylvia Natterer and she is a very famous doll artist. And that's one thing that's just really amazing about both of these dolls. They have really beautifully sculpted faces. They're very different. Zorgnazi has a very um, particular look to them, but I really love both of these dolls. And you can get them at, actually you can get both of these dolls from Samantha's Dolls and Bears. And so I will of course link that below in the description. I've got glitter everywhere from the, <laughs> from the, um, the Ruby Red friends. You know, um, there's a there's a channel Britney's Playroom if you guys don't watch her she unboxed the same doll that I have and she called it a glitter adventure that's exactly what it is y'all it's a glitter adventure so if you don't watch her channel already go check her out and subscribe but anyway those are my two dolls for under two hundred dollars number six category is under two hundred and fifty dollars and both of these dolls are going to top out at 250 but they're both both very worthwhile. So let's talk about this doll first. This is my Outsiders dolls. Now that is by artist Jennifer Latham Robinson. She has one of these dolls right now in her Etsy shop named Sam for $250. It is very much like this doll. Please somebody go buy it before I do because I'm not allowed to buy new dolls until March. But I absolutely love her dolls so much. They're always so well done. Um, they're so unique. I, you know, I don't ever see many dolls like this out on the market and they're so well made you know they're very she's poseable I can move her legs around she's made of cloth she's got some bean sort of stuffing in her rear end and then her head is like a sculpted with fabric over it and painted and I just really really adore these dolls and that is a great price for one of her pieces of art and not only that but um, they're just really so much fun and the artist herself is amazing i did an interview with her on the channel you guys can check it out she also made this necklace she makes a lot of really cool art pieces so like i was saying um please somebody go buy that doll in her etsy shop i'm gonna link it below before i do um, because i don't need the temptation right now i'm supposed to not buy dolls till march now another kind of doll you can buy for 250 and these are right at 250 dollars from fabric and friends these are the kiki pop dolls and they are so so cute so kawaii they're like the cutest things ever i love these dolls so much they're made out of a sort of abs i think it's called plastic it's not vinyl but it's like the hard you know kind of um which is a hard plastic but they're really really sweet they're really poseable they don't share super well with a lot of other dolls like they can share things but it's more i would say more coincidental and it's not like spot on every time everything for every doll is not going to work well for this um but I, their clothes that they come out with are so cute and like i said um if you're here in the u.s fabric and friends dolls sells their outfits so you can get outfits for your kiki kiki pops 
and you can get you can change their wigs and stuff like that I've changed the wig on this one and they're really just sweet cute dolls they're a lot of fun and they have that you know that really sort of anime kawaii aesthetic and I just really adore these dolls so these are two great great collectible dolls at the $250 mark both of which I would buy more of in the future for sure Category five is under $300. Now I'm bringing Zorgnazi back to the table. This is a taller Zorgnazi doll and the prices of these dolls can kind of be, um, I don't wanna say all over the place, but it is all over the place. It depends I think on the intricacy of the outfit, how limited the doll is. But there's a lot of dolls in the 250 to $300 range that are in this size. They sell them at both Samantha's Dolls and Bears and at um, the toy shop here in the United States. And there's a lot of other great retailers that sell them throughout the world. But these are a really fun doll. You know, I said it, it's the same thing. The Zordazi have a really, um, really high quality outfits, really high quality shoes, and they're just a fun doll. Their faces are so different. They're so well made. They're so beautifully made. I just really love these dolls and can highly recommend them. Topping out at our $300 budget is um, a Bonica doll. And this is the Bonica doll Sabine from Modern Doll Collectors Convention this year. And they're actually, actually <laughs> got my turds wangled up there. There are actually some extra of these dolls in our souvenir shop right now for $300 a piece. So this is a beautiful doll because here's the thing with this doll, it's sculpted by Diana Effner. The outfit is an intricate, beautiful outfit made by Bonica. So it's Bonica quality outfit and shoes on this doll. She's got a high quality wig. She's a 10 inch tall doll. She's really, really beautiful. And they're very highly collectible. A lot of folks make clothes for these. Bonica makes clothes for these. And if you know anything about Bonica and their rich tradition of making beautiful clothing, you can always find beautiful new outfits for these dolls. So it's something that you can change and play with and have fun with. You can change the wigs too, which I haven't on her, but you know, she's just really gorgeous as is. Um, I really love this whole look on this doll. So both of these dolls are really great dolls. Um, they're both from European doll make. They're actually both from Germany. So Bonica's in Germany and Zorgnazi is in Germany. And this one's actually manufactured in Germany where this one is not, but um, they both come from German companies and they're both really super gorgeous dolls. Number four on my list is another artist doll, and these are artist resin dolls, they're just not ball jointed, and these are Miss Mary and Miss Monday by artist Joey Versal, and I really adore these dolls. You guys have seen me unbox them on my channel. I think they're fantastic. They run around $340. Um, his prices may go up and I wouldn't be surprised because these dolls have been really popular and they've sold out every time. But as of right now, the prices as they've been released have been around 330 or 340. And so they would fall into this under $350 category. They're really beautifully made. The packaging materials are amazing with these dolls. If you've seen my unboxings, they come with beautiful boxes and their outfits are beautiful. They include a pattern inside the box. So you could make a dress if you wanted to. And I just, and, and these nice stands. I mean, they come with so much. They're just such gorgeous dolls. They're so much fun. I mean, look at their faces. They're just amazing. I love the faces of these dolls. They're just so incredible and they're so beautiful. And I can't say enough about them. I'm just going on and on here, but I really love these dolls y'all and I feel like um, I just love the silhouette I love the way the resin feels like I sit here you might see me sitting here stroking her leg because the resin is so smooth and it feels so good and I just it feels like a quality piece of art and I just love to have these dolls here in my collection so that is my choice for under 350 Number three, we are to the under $400 category. And for this category, I have chosen the Mueller Witch Tail Dolls. Now, these, both of these that you actually see before you wouldn't actually fall into this category, but there are on Rosemary's site, which I'll link below, there are some of the artist versions of these dolls for 299 euros. And what does the artist version mean? It means she has actually been the one to paint the faces and she has costumed them and they're really, really nice. You can add, I have a jointed body, like a more articulated body that's got a joint in the knee. I believe it's 35 euros. So you can add 35 euros to the cost and you can get a more articulated body. So that is really cool to be able to get a doll directly from her. I feel like 
um, that she's actually touched since she's the one that originally created these dolls. Now this one that you see here is a shield crop version, a shield crop version of that doll. So they're more mass produced. They're not painted by the artist herself. And you can actually get these dolls, I want to say for under 250 or under 200. Um, I believe they're about 120 pounds. Um, you can get them from my doll best friend in the UK. But if you really want the artist's touch on the doll, you can get one with that she has touched herself uh, for as low as 299 euros in her web shop. Category two is under $450, and now I'm bringing out my Pongratz dolls because you can get a Pongratz doll for under $450. Now, the all wooden Pongratz dolls are extremely expensive. However, if you want to add a piece of Pongratz art to your collection, this is the most economical way to do it. So the smaller girl here, you can get from Hesman's in the Netherlands for 339 euros, and with exchange, that is going to come out to less than $450. And they're super sweet, gorgeous dolls. I love them so much. Pongratz is one of my favorites. Um, Elizabeth Pongratz is one of my favorite doll artists. She carves, the, you know, these, these heads are wooden and they're carved. They're made in Germany. They have beautiful costuming and they're just amazing. At the toy shop in the United States, you can get the um, this year's version sort of of this doll, it doesn't look exactly like this, but it is the um, wooden head with short hair on a soft body for $425. So under that $450 mark and you're adding a beautiful piece of artwork to your collection and you can say you have a Pongratz doll in your collection. Back before I had committed myself to spending the sort of money that one would spend on a Pongratz, actually I never even committed myself. My husband was the one that surprised me with the all wooden dolls because he knew how bad I wanted them. I really just wanted a piece of, um, I really wanted a Pongratz doll for my collection because I felt like I really just wanted to have one and I bought this girl because she was the most economical choice at the time. So, or she still is, you know. So both of these dolls, great dolls um, from a great artist and you can get them at that under $450 mark. I highly recommend having at least one in your collection. I'm kind of like one of these collectors that I want a little bit of everything just to have a sample of every sort of um, doll in my collection, but these dolls are really wonderful and I highly, highly recommend them. Now to category number one, which is the under $500 category, and you can see here I've got two beautiful dolls. I've got a smart doll and I've got a mini Dolphy Dream from Volk. So let's talk about the mini Dolphy Dream first. This mini Dolphy Dream is from Volk. She's under $500. She's in the 470 category, 470 something. She is an MSD size doll. She's like one quarter scale. She is a gorgeous doll. They're so much fun to dress, to change wigs, to style, to photograph. Everything about these dolls is absolutely amazing. Now, I got the basic set, which was Lillaroo. She came with a purple wig and a little underwear set, but you can build your own as well, I believe. And I don't know if it would be less expensive to do that without all the optional parts, but to get the full doll with wig and the little um, outfit set or little underwear set, let's say, you can get her for under $500 and she is just a whole lot of fun. Now, smart dolls, let's look at them. Smart dolls are 52,000 yen, and that is right under $500 if you're in the United States with the exchange rate. And I remember the last one I bought, um, I actually bought the uh, $52,000 gift card for the scholarship winner, and when it charged my card the, with the exchange, it came out to $494. So shipping's not included with that, but I said shipping wasn't going to be included because if you're not in the United States, shipping might be a totally different cost for you than it is for me. But you can get a smart doll. It'll come with an underwear set for under $500. Um, and then you can either add clothing from Culture Japan or you can get clothing from one of the great clothing makers that makes them, which of course Elite Doll World is my favorite. This is an Elite Doll World top. And you can have so much fun dressing these dolls because there are so many amazing fashions out there for them, um, both from Culture Japan and from other um, doll fashion designers. So these dolls are just, they're, they're so amazing guys. And I just did my top nine on Instagram and you shouldn't buy a doll for a popularity contest because doll collecting is not about 
popularity. That's not what it is at all. It's something you should enjoy, um, whatever you choose. However, I will say that all of, almost all of my top nine pictures from Instagram had smart dolls in them. So smart dolls are beloved the world round. Uh, people really like them. And I think that speaks to how much uh, smart doll collectors can bond with their dolls and really have fun with them. And I'll say the same thing. You know, I, I didn't really have any dolls in this size before and I absolutely love smart dolls now. I really love them. I've, I've bonded with everyone and they're just, they're so much fun to play with. So those are my picks for under $500. I have a bonus category here for you guys because I really would have been remiss if I had not talked about the Lavender Poupes dolls here on this collectible doll list. Now these dolls are priced at 480 euros each. This is for the small doll. 480 euros right now with exchange is around 580 US dollars. So they didn't fall into any of the categories on my list because they're a little above that. But if you are a doll collector and you love beautiful dolls and you love artist dolls, these dolls are amazing. First of all, just the unpackaging experience of one of these dolls is an experience. It is so wonderful. She packages everything so well. It's so beautiful. It smells so good when they arrive. But not only that, they're made of wood. They're all hand carved. The hair is natural fiber. So they retain that really, I guess, earthy smell. They just, there's something so wonderful about these dolls. They're full wood. They're, they have springs inside. The artistry behind them is so amazing. These are, some of my favorite dolls, I'm sitting here smelling it now after I've been talking about it. These are some of my favorite dolls in my collection. They are amongst my absolute favorites. And I feel like, you know, I just, I just love them. I don't even know what else to say about them. They're just so fantastic. I feel like if they're in your budget, you will not be disappointed if you get one of these. Now her wait list right now is quite long to get one of these dolls because she is making them all by herself. She does all the wigs. She does the costuming. She's a, a one woman show and she's a wonderful artist and she is um, she's so nice to talk to. If you have any questions, just reach out to her through Instagram and she will be glad to answer any of your questions. So I wanted to mention these because this is a collectible doll list and these are some of the most beautiful collectible art dolls that I have in my collection. Some of my favorites and I wanted to make sure to tell you guys about them. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any of the dolls from this list, please leave me a comment below and let me know which is your favorite from the list. Um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.